<sighs> I'm at the park today and I don't have a mic. I'm so very nervous with people seeing me, but I need to get it out because I'm gonna have no other time today and I didn't film yesterday. So I was thinking yesterday, or two days ago, wow, uh, with Ethan when we were sanding the entire time, I was thinking like, we're low-key living a reality TV show, like two young bodybuilders and we're just building cars on a farm, one's in the suburbs, we're going to Hawaii for Fire Knife World Championship and just like doing all this crazy stuff. I mean, and then I went to work and I was like, oh wait, no. Like I saw a TV show basically doing what we're doing and I'm like, oh no, they actually have like, they're doing the cool stuff. We're at the beginning stages, so not yet. <laughs> but I thought that was fun. And uh, time relative to push or to rushing self, learn from the trees, just be. Oh man, this is a while ago. I forgot all this stuff. <laughs> um, but basically I watched this video about learning from the trees. And it's basically just about being patient and just grow trees don't try to force themselves to be a different type of tree they just are what they are and they just live it and like they move with the wind but they're strong in, in their roots and there's so many pieces of wisdom you can learn from trees and I thought that was cool and the uh, reason I want to make money in a fun way is because I dream to have money to be able to do the fun shit which is me acting comedy um, filming and cinema, music, bodybuilding, etc. So it's like, I basically imagined myself with like a couple million dollars with a house and with the cars and I was like, like I was, I remembered another guy that I've heard of that had all, has all that. And I'm like, if I was just to have that right now, I wouldn't be fulfilled. Like, okay, now what? And then I would start working towards exactly what I said, like acting, cinema, like comedy music mostly music like i've never truly dedicated myself this much to any one thing it's been like six months now and i'm just like all i think about and all i want to do is make music and surprisingly i've done almost nothing for it which is really weird it's like i'm like in love with the fantasy of it and with the actual doing of it it's really weird but uh yeah if i have millions right now i just keep doing it i don't feel oh yeah i don't feel fulfilled without skill so it's like i'd rather make it and be successful doing what I love and make it and be successful and then wish I did what I loved you know what I mean so I'm kind of understanding that's not really what I want so but also at the same time you need money to be able to do all that so it's like that's why I understand I'm lucky I understand money and I know how to make money so anyway. uh, thinking without doing like fantasy versus reality like I said and we always dream and just instead of just dreaming how about you just do and go further as you go along? Oh, my phone is set up in my bag right now. There's a page I'm gonna read at the very end. I'll move the camera around, but um, get farther than just analysis paralysis. Dream along the way. Like we're all, I, no matter who, no matter how successful they are, have dreams for doing something else and something bigger. So it's like, just do and evolve as you go along instead of thinking and then starting, you know? So it's like idea versus action and my dreams are easy enough to talk about, not easy enough to do. And I'm a, I realize I'm a talker and I need speed and I need to start doing, you know? Like Ethan goes into the room and he like, he's making, this morning he was making a beat all morning. It's just like, he just makes music. Like he just started making music. And it was obviously like the beat kind of sucked because it was like, we're still new. But it's like, he's making music. I'm just thinking about making music, you know? But I mean, that's, you know, I'm more of a lyricist and I'm more of a writer, so I'll get there, but I really want to learn how to make beats and sing. Like I was listening to this song called Make It by Aaron May this morning, and I literally wanted to cry. It was so simple. It was just a little bit of piano and then just his voice, but he's a rapper, and it was just like so vulnerable. It was awesome. This is another thing. is like, I'm going to start becoming way more vulnerable with people just naturally, like not holding back and not being afraid to tell them what my dreams are, you know, like I'm going to manifest it by talking about it you know and like yeah the more people i tell the more i have to do it so that way i don't fault upon my word um let's see the more oh yeah the more i self-doubt the harder i come back which is actually pretty cool so it's like i've realized that the more and more i feel depressed like oh i'm not gonna be able to do it like the harder i start going so it's like i've somehow developed this thing where it's like no matter what i just come back stronger every single time so, and then fear of what my family will think is really, really strong, but I'm slowly planting seeds and 
they're gonna start understanding, you know. Um, it's like, how? Exclamation point. How, how will I get there? And I'm dedicating my life to do what I love, even my own, even to my own demise. To, but I don't know, I'm still learning to detach from what people think. So, I don't know, it's kind of like, look at Chris Rock. It's like he, people knew he started writing, but it's like he had to really sacrifice being able to take that safe route so that he could have everything, you know, to be successful. And it's like, I just want to make fun shit. I don't know, I feel like I have to really hammer this down a lot. Um, platonic view, oh yeah, confident at work. Platonic view of people, not what can I get out of this person and what can I do to get to that, per to get to that point where I can get what I want see them for how they are and like truly their personality i wrote that last night because i was at work and i'm st i'm really starting to be myself at work because the other day at the party with ethan he was really being himself like truly being himself and i was super inspired and then I talked to him about my bartender and he's like that's really rare to like see a kid be that be himself at that age and it really stuck with me and i'm like starting to learn to be like really be myself more and it's actually making it easier because now people are actually attracting more into my life and like people enjoy being, oh ladybug, people enjoy being around me more. Cause it's like, I'm not, what I was doing before when I wasn't being myself, oh my God, is not saying those things, like holding back my thought, no. Holding back my thoughts. There's a hawk nest right there, but holding back my thoughts and like thinking about something to say and then just not saying it you know and now I'm just kind of just saying it saying whatever I think and questioning people and not trying to be a people pleaser not trying to get people to like me and just like I realized like low I actually kind of annoyed by these people like by girls especially I'm like yo like I really wanted to be around you because you're beautiful but now like now that I'm being myself and like interacting with you organically it's like you're so annoying please shut the f <laughs> shut up and i'm like it's really cool because like now it's like i actually feel like it's enabled me a better filter to be able to pick and choose the people that will really help me in my life and not have people that'll waste my time and do nothing but be negative and bring drama and I'm sure that sounds brutal but you know we need to be brutal we don't have time in this life to have pity friendship you know, I feel like that's actually really important. <sighs> what else? But yeah, so I've really been being myself a lot lately. The bee. I've also been thinking, I like never see bugs anymore. Bugs are like nowhere. Like I saw a bee on oh, another ladybug with no dots. Huh. I've actually been seeing a lot of ladybugs lately, like at Ethan's house in the farm, but. I saw a bee earlier, and it was the first time I'd seen one in so long that I at least stopped walking and just like squatted on the grass and watched it on this flower just doing its thing. I was like, sometimes I just need to stop and smell the roses, like my mom says. So, uh, life is just so beautiful, and it's like, I'm very self aware that this is just the beginning. I haven't even moved on to my dad's house yet, so it's like, I feel like that'll be really freeing. Once I really move move out of the state, onto my own, meet new people, make new friends, create new opportunities, I feel like it'll really be freeing, and I feel like a new, I always have a problem of waiting for a new environment to really change things up, but that's just what works best for me. Maybe I'll figure it out later, but it works, and I can't wait to completely change my environment and really start spending my entire life or spending my life selfishly working towards this greater purpose so that I can be a beacon of light for others to create the life that they want. Kind of like how Mac Miller does for me. And I really hope it's filming still. I get so, I'm getting so stressed out. Another ladybug means good luck. Another one. Dude, another one. So scared. How to get out of there? Come here, come here, come here. Dude, ladybugs are so beautiful.
who would? Beautiful. Life is so beautiful. It reminds me, <clears throat> I talked to dad the other day and I was thinking, I was like, actually this is like a month ago, I was like, it makes me really sad that like, when I'm really in beautiful places, it's hard for me to really absorb it and, and enjoy it. And I was like, do you have any advice for how to absorb beauty more? And he's like, there's no trick. You just enjoy it and appreciate it while it's there. I mean, he said it differently, but it's basically just like, don't overthink it, dude. It's just, just enjoy it. Just absorb the beauty. Appreciate it. It was like, I just see beauty everywhere. And I, I feel like I have nobody to really share this with, except for Ethan, really. I was caught in a trance at work the other day. One of the girls caught me just staring off into space, and she was like, hello. And I just was like... And I was just purely imagining Ethan and I traveling the world because last night I got news that I'm 100% going to Guam with Ethan, which is awesome. After summer, we're both going to go to Guam for six months. Freaking Guam. And we're getting paid to do that. We're going to leave with a profit because there's going to be no living expense, no food expense, which is purely profit. And we're going to be working a lot and then you get to tra travel every two months for like a week. You can go to Thailand or Japan or whatever and it's like... <sighs> First off, I'm getting a laptop before I go there so I can like start making music while I'm there and also get a camera so I can take awesome pictures because I want to have those pictures when I'm old and like a picture book that I look back upon. I really want that. And honestly, I feel like crying right now that I'm not bringing that up because it's so sad to me that I live in a generation where kids aren't gonna have shit to look back upon really you know and they kind of just look to idols and look to other people to live the life for them and I want to I want to bring everybody out of that and I don't know how other than being an example but I don't want to be another person that people just live life through like like with Mac Miller for me it's like he has the most perfect life to me even though he died of an overdose I don't want to die of an overdose but it's like at 18 or even at 15 he started his rap career and then, like, he made a mixtape and it sucked. And then he made another one and it sold a lot. And then he started doing tours. And then he made a, his big mixtape, which was his third one, called Kids. Kicking incredibly dope shit. That's what really got him on, the, on, like, out there. And then it's just he kept creating nonstop. And it's like, ugh, it makes me so sad. I'm like, it's like, there's so much I want to create. And I don't know how. And I have nobody to help me. And it's like, I feel like I have a voice that can only be uh, an emotion and a part of my heart that can only be spoken in a foreign language that nobody else speaks or nobody around me speaks. And it's like, I don't know how to get it out. <sighs> it's like, I was talking this morning with dad and he was like, we were talking about time and I was saying like, I understand because he was saying Leo's about to be a teenager. All my kids are about to be gone. And I, f I feel like crying, bro. I'm so emotional in general. Like, I just, why do I feel things so deeply? It's so, it's weird, but. I was like, I under I, I feel for you because I'm, un I'm aware that I know the time's gonna pass. I just didn't know it was gonna happen this fast. Like I said that the other day to myself and I was like, wow, that's fucking profound, bro. And I just been thinking like, I understand that I know that one day I'm gonna be 50 but once I'm there, I'm mean, like, where'd all the time go? Because all you know is that really the present moment. It's the only thing we can feel because we're present moment beings of understanding that there's a past and that there will be a future. And the dad was like, well, we don't know if we're going to live two years or 80 years. I was like, that's true. And then he just like kind of, for 15 minutes, all of us boys just stared at him while he just talked for a little bit. Very emotional. Kind of how I'm talking. Very slow. Pausing. Putting emphasis on the right words. And he said, like, there's so much I still want to do with my life. So many paintings unpainted. So many pieces of furniture unmade. So many carvings still flat. And it was, it was like, wow. First off, dad wants to make things that are simple, but like beautiful. Like, I want to make things for the world. 
and he wants to make things for his family. That's so honorable. I really look up. Dad is absolutely my hero. I don't think my dad will ever see this video, but dad, you're my fucking hero. Like, I want to I'm literally on the verge of tears right now. Like, I can't imagine a world without you. I don't even want to go there right now. But, um, oh, cause literally everything I am is from dad. Why I'm so artistically drawn, why I'm creatively drawn, why I'm so analytical, why I'm so smart, why I'm so knowledgeable, why I have all this like natural gifts for everything. It's just dad planted those seeds for, to grow in me before I even knew it. And there's so many things I don't even know are gonna, I don't even know are part of me, but they're gonna be, I'm gonna be so grateful when I'm older because he is that freaking smart. And uh, anyways, uh, and it was just like, it's beautiful because dad was saying, he's like, I wanna learn how to work leather. I wanna work, learn how to work metal. He's like, but I don't have the tools for those. I don't know how to do that. There's so many designs and such that I've wanted to create that I've imagined and that I feel passionate for, but I don't know how. And I was like, that's me right now with music. Like comedy, I'm very natural at, and I feel like I could kill it. But I don't care for that right now. That's like, it's too easy for me. I want the hard. I want to learn that new language. And it's sad because it's hard for me to envision a path where I do this in my 20s. Where I'm still, as Studio Ghibli says in their movie, uh, uh, the one about planes. But, like, you have like 10 years of creativity. It's not true. Like, oh, you only have 10 years, but it's like, I want to use my youth. Like, I feel so many emotions right now. Like, I know I can really connect with a young audience in a way that they would connect with this music. Dude, there's three ladybugs right there. But, like, there's so much I want to do and so much I want to say and create. There's beauty. And I don't know where to start. I just need help. I need guidance. I need a mentor. It's like I haven't earned that because I'm I have, I have nothing natural for music that I know of. I took piano lessons when I was a little kid. My mom took me out of it, and I feel so sad. I'm like, why is everything I've ever been anti like music? Like nothing's ever worked out with music, and I've never started it. And I've always been like, I can't. But now I understand that I can't yet. I don't just want to make music, I want to make art. I don't just want to make sound, I want to make beauty. I want to make something that, like that song that Aaron May made. He's just, he's a rapper and he just had a little bit of piano and he was just singing. He was like, I hope you make it. I hope you make it real far. I wish you greatness and stars. Please don't care about you as much as I care, as much as you care about you. It was just so simple. It's like it's like 15 lines. And it's just, it literally brings me to freaking tears, dude. And I'm like, I wouldn't be able to do that. Just bring a random kid to tears. Because he's so emotionally connected to it. And just, oh, fuck all the money, dude. It's just, so, I just, there's so much I want to do. And there's so much I feel like I can do. But I just don't know how. I feel lost. Life life has to be bigger than this than just going to a job and making money and like now I'm finally getting to the point where like I think in the next couple of months I'm gonna have like 10 grand cash and then I have another like 10k in investments and saving as an emergency fund and then also just assets in general so I'm probably gonna have like 30k total or something like that but like 10k cash is a big deal for me like I can I can really once I have 10k cash, I can turn that into 20 in the next couple of months, and I can turn that 20 into 40-ish in the next, like, six months. So it's like, things are about to start moving fast, and it's like, I don't just want it to be money. I don't want to have all my time be like, like, what have you done? Like, oh, well, I got, like, 50k cash. That's kind of why I choose cars, because it's, like, kind of fun. You know, it's like, I have I had this car, and I had this car, and I can take people on it, and I can create fun memories with other people through my creations. <laughs> And creations might just be creating money, but it's like the vessel. That's what matters to me. And I just want to be surrounded by artistic minds that make me better and that I make better. It's kind of like I see the value within myself, 
and I know where I can go, but at the same time, I'm very aware that I'm nothing yet. And, I don't know. Well, this, is a, this ground is really soft. I just replanted this grass. So, anyway. Oh, very emotional today. I gotta go to work now. Um, Nana, I love you. I hope you have a great night. Thank you for pushing me to... These videos, I told you the other day, that these videos are for you. They're not only just for you. They're kind of an update for you so you understand me more and you know your grandson more because you've always been so separated from the family. You've always been lived far away. And... And, like, also, there are historical documentation for myself and for anyone else for when I do make it so that people can look back and see, like... How did he do it? Because, like, for me, I read all these Wikipedia articles about all these artists, and there's barely any information out there. Like, how the hell did they learn how to make music? Like, <laughs> like what is there? And it's like, there's just some things you can't find. So it's like, I want to document everything possible so that, like, the way I'm, I'm emotionally connected and feel so touched by Mac Miller, like, I hope someday I can be that strong of a beacon. For somebody else, even just one person, man. One person. So, alright, I'm done. But yeah, Nana. It's kind of like killing two, three birds with one stone. Other people, for myself, and like kind of like journaling, and then also so you get to know me. And also, actually, so that I start YouTube and so that my channel gets into the algorithm. Like it knows that I post a lot, and then when I actually make good content, like skits, so this way your channel's already part of the algorithm. The good content skyrockets even more so more promotion for myself so I can finally find people and collaborate with people and create better things okay one last thing I forgot to read from this book the way forward okay sometimes we want to feel safer by before moving forward by developing a clear plan but this is not always possible having a goal or an intuitive hunch is often enough to justify moving in a new direction which kind of reminded me of when I was in high school and I was telling my principal, like, I'm not going to do what you think I should do. Um, I was actually in her office. That is a real story. I, she was telling me, you need to go to college. And I was like, I'm bigger than that. <laughs> um, even, a full, even if a full plan is possible, like I was explaining to my principal and she actually like sat back and she was like, wow, I, I believe in you. <laughs> and it was literally, it was crazy because she, she went from seeing me as an immature kid to me ranting for 15 minutes nearly to tears and she was moved almost to tears. It was honestly beautiful. I forgot about that. Memory is a little bit tweaked there. It didn't go exactly as I just said, but you get the gist. Um, so even if a full plan is possible, you must not become too attached as you move through the journey. Conditions change and unforeseen obstacles appear requiring you to be flexible. During the journey, a lot of learning can happen. Taking in new experiences and data should inspire you to re reassess your strategy so you can be more effective. Not knowing how everything will play out can be daunting. I'm right here. But having a goal that drives you can function as a light through the dark unknown. Having a goal that drives you can function as a light through the dark unknown. If you take mindful steps that align with your values, intentionally t treating yourselves and others compassionately, then you will undoubtedly end up in a good place. How long it takes matters much less than how much you learn along the way and evolve You move as you move through the process. So true, which is low-key, like very therapeutic for me. It's like, I need to realize, you no, know, I don't need to do it so fast, but I want to do it so fast, you know? It's like, the faster I get it done, the more things I can do, the more greatness, but also, yeah. You know, if you're always giving your 100%, once you've given your 100%, the next best is still 100%. Real growth is refraining from making assumptions so you can focus on observing. Getting more information so that you can develop a well-rounded view is always better than letting yourself be dominated by an impulsive reaction. Tame your ego to let yourself see more. That's it. Have a freaking great night.